All right, guys, we're going to move on to Donruss number five, and we've got the random already done for Flawless seven, so if we get a player to come over here, I'm going to switch over to Flawless seven and have the, the player help us open that. So in the meantime, we'll just kind of chill out, open some more Donruss, hope for an Otani. Oh, I didn't show the results. Hold on. Here's your, here's your teams for this one. You didn't get the notification. <laughs> Joe Musgrove Jersey Relic. I'm going to do old school regular card opening. Old school breaking style jewels. <laughs> oh, Ozzy Smith autograph. That's nice. Yeah. That doesn't suck. Who's got the Cardinals? American Pride, Johnny Aiello. Yeah, this is the way to go. I'm tired of doing those. Very Randy, huh? I don't know if the other way is really that much faster, is it? There's a Bellinger to 352. Riley Gilliam to 349, American Pride. American Pride Steel Walker. Teoscar Hernandez for Toronto. Here's your relic. Jousting board at 199. JP Crawford to 350. Feels like this goes faster, Jules. Will Myers to 263. Hates the ripping. What is it called? Stack them. I played blackjack for like two hours last night. It was really fun. I actually won money. It was a long night. At like kind of down a little bit, then up a little bit, then way up, and then a little down. And then it was fun. 
Uh, Andrew Miller to 500. I think I was up like 20 bucks or something. <laughs> American Pride Seth Beer. Yeah, they have casinos. Well, the Indian casino. Yeah, I was so tired, and then all the guys out here were like, come on, man. Don't be a downer. I was like, oh, God. All right, fine. And I got a little bit of a second win. Herrera to 344. Eric Fetty autograph. Smoking tobacco. No, I didn't smoke any tobacco. I did partake in some Arizona adult beverages. They had some bullet riot at the bar jewels, so got into that. Hey, hey. Kevin Hank. JP Crawford autograph. Can we be friends, Sam? Yes. Can I help you? Let's try. Oh, can I help you open some donors so I don't? That will put you up towards best friend status. <laughs> this is Kevin Hank from Panini. Let me get this camera. Up. Hey guys, this, this, this is the man. This is the reason that we get to come out to these events. Hey, he, fellas. He likes us. I do. I like it. I he like it a lot. He invites us to come do this. You should all say thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Without him, there, we wouldn't be doing this at all. Mm. Aaron Judge, out of this world. So are we just pulling serial numbered stuff? and uh, Serial number, autographs. Yeah. There you go. Joey Vada. Serial numbers, autos, right? Yeah. We should interview Kevin like we've been doing these other yeah, players. Absolutely. Kevin, what do you like to do in your free time? <laughs> uh, Play <what> cards? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is nice. Oh, Jose Altuve. Okay, press proof. Press proof. David Dahl relic. Yeah, guys, if you guys have got questions, fire away. Don't ask me where your redemption is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He'll answer reasonable questions. Yeah, absolutely. Does he collect cards? Yes, he does. I do. I do. I, 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 I have to be careful what I collect and how I collect, but yes, I do collect. Yeah. Chipper Jones, well, you're a big uh, TCU, TCU guy, yeah. Uh, Nolan Arenado, Rockies. Yeah, so I collect uh, pretty much any trading card that's got a Horn Frog logo on it. Mm -hmm. So, Andy Dalton stuff, uh, Josh Doxon stuff, um, Danian Tomlinson for sure. Yeah. Jose Ramirez over the Cleveland Indians. What else you guys got for him? Yeah, he knows how to open. He knows how to open packs. Oh yeah, Tony. Ryan Ellington going over to the Miami Marlins. Kevin invited us out to the football event that you guys supported me really well, and he does. He's, he does everything in the events. He'll be. You look at him right now, and you're like, look at that guy. He's obviously really important, really <laughs> high up in the company. Uh, hey. He'll be down on his on his arms and knees pulling out power cables to get my computer plugged in. That's right. He'll be calling, trying to get the internet speed faster for us. He does all what, top to bottom. Whatever it takes. Yeah, he, he ordered uh, some some hamburgers for us before the breaks. <laughs> whatever it takes. No, no task is too is beneath. Kevin. One team, one dream. Yeah. Uh, Cabrera to 199. I'm not even joking around. He will. And the excellent panini shirt. I am also an excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've had one request for a panini shirt. Well, we can see what we've got lying around the office. I can maybe send Sam a care package. Yeah. How does that sound? And he can decide where well, they go. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, everybody wants one. Uh, they're, 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 so they're wildly popular, yeah. aren't they? They always make fun of me because that's all. Every picture I have a knee shirt. Right. I'm like, they're the best. They're, they're free and they're really comfortable. <laughs> See, I just sleep a lot of mine. Yeah. Carson Fulmer. How did you originally get in the card business? I, you know what? It was, uh, I'll make a long story short. So I grew up collecting cards with, uh, with my dad. And there was a great local card shop in Kansas City where I was from. And I got hired there when I was a kid. Um... Ooh, I like this. Carlos Correa wow. at 99. Kevin pulls the good stuff. Um, I got hi I got hired th um, there when I was young um, or at a t as a teenager. 
because he knew I was honest and trustworthy and knew something about the business, and um, he would also work around my baseball schedule. Oh, yeah, you played baseball for college. Yeah, TCU. Uh, Bryce Tucker, goal. Uh, the man was an athlete. Still is. Yeah. He, I mean, every now and then I can hit a golf ball yeah. and do some other stuff. He beat me at Top Golf, fair and square, <laughs> the other day. And so uh, I've always loved trading cards, and I worked really hard, Robbie Ray, uh, to try to get a job initially when I got out of school in Texas with, with Beckett Media. And then from Beckett Media, I went to Tops and worked from Tops in New York City and then from Tops to Panini and just kept grinding. I always wanted to be involved with this because I figured if you love something, try to figure out a way to make a good living at it and I've been successful doing it. Hey, I did that. Posey out of 100? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's the same... It's a similar story with a lot of you guys who break, you know? Yeah. It's just, this is what brings you happiness, or, you know, it doesn't really feel like work. and It doesn't. You're just, you're happy to be around it. I can't pronounce this guy's name. I'm sorry, I've tried all weekend. Yeah, I just call him the Italian know. Stallion. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite place in Kansas City for barbecue? Uh, I am a big fan of Fiorella's Jack Stack Barbecue. Big fan of Jack Stack, and then I like Oklahoma Joe's or whatever they call it now, Kansas City Joe's. Don't know the Cincinnati. I've never been out there. Oh man, it's great. It's tough to beat, brother. Yeah. Tough to beat. I still need, I need some packs. Here. Yeah. I still need to come down to Dallas. There's some food down there. I heard. Oh yeah. Now we got food. A lot of good Mexican. Some it's good barbecue in Dallas, but it's just different than Kansas City. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're, you you won't get skinny living in Dallas. I'll tell you. That. <laughs> You've been doing the rookie premiere of the baseball events for Man, ever. Years, yeah. yeah. He's at all of them, does all, everything. This is my ninth year at Panini, so almost time. Awesome. Yeah. Been around for a while. Been doing this track meet for a while. But they're fun. Every year it's a little, something a little bit different. Yeah. That's what I love about sports is that it always changes. Oh, my know. dude. There you go. Hopefully he comes over here at some point. Walker Bueller autograph. Oh, he's... He's Dodgers. A, he's uh, signing right now. Yeah. Your favorite player that you've ever met at an event? Uh, Michael Conforto, thrown in New York. Favorite player at an event? Um, believe it or not, most recently, Mitch Trubisky. Oh, yeah. He, he sat down quite, with us. Everyone loved him. Quite possibly the nicest, most humble guy on the planet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Caden Greenier. Yeah, Trubisky is probably for a starting quarterback. Him and Pat Mahomes. Yeah. I'm not just saying it because they're the most recent. Probably two of the most humble guys you'll ever meet. Chance Cisco. Needy Breakers parallel. Yeah. They're trying to make they're trying to make reputable quality products. They don't need breakers on them. That'll we'll just bring down the quality. Everyone's always asking about those are going to be a card of you. <laughs> probably not going to happen. Well, you know. <laughs> I just want one of the instant ones. <laughs> Machado. We were talking about prism parallels. Yeah. I just want silver. All the prisms. Just, just one of each. You can put fake numbering on them. JD Martinez. Are you hiring? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, a lot of the jobs we get put, we post are on our LinkedIn website. Um, I think right now we've got positions available in pre-press and some other areas of the company. Well, Andre Dawson. Um, yeah, the company's grown. When I started there, we were less than 80 people. And now we're over 230. So, And then obviously on the PDT side, which is product development, we're always looking for talented people who understand the trading card industry because we are not a dime a dozen, that's for sure. Yeah. A little George Brett action going over those Royals. <laughs> the heirs. They said they could use me for one of the like the an air card. It says like Mike Tr Mike Trout, but it's a picture of me. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would be funny. Mount Marvel, Chris Sale. That was joke of the night, Stephen. One of the airs. It's okay. Kevin said the T word. He used to work there. Manny Margot. Yeah. I used to work there. A lot of guys within the they, these guys don't realize that a lot of guys in the industry have worked oh, everywhere. Yeah, we're we're re, we're a recycled group. Cotton going over to the uh, Oakland A's. He had a pretty good year last year. Yeah, he got Tommy John. He's out. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Just they just announced that like this week. It sucks. 
Man, the guys have been really cool today. I had two already. Really nice. Yeah, there's a, it's a good group that's here today. I like, I like this card because it reminds me of like old school collecting right here. Yeah. I don't know, the Cincinnati Reds. A major league team. Are you? Do you root for the Royals? Yeah, or big Royals yeah. fan. Like, uh, when they went to the World Series and. Oh, yeah, that's right. Back in the day, I took my mom, um, bought tickets. My mom's a bigger baseball fan than I am because she just, you know, spent so many hours on a baseball diamond watching me play and right. stuff. Um, so I took my mom to the World Series the year we were uh, against San Francisco and we lost in seven games and that was oh, yeah. crushing. We went to games uh, six and seven, I believe it was, at home. And then the next year when we were against the... Uh, the Mets, um, our, our house was going crazy. I woke my son up because it had been, you know, 30 years since we had anything to celebrate. Yeah. And, um, we were that crazy family who was out buying jerseys at Dick's Sporting Goods at 2 a.m., you know, to celebrate. Orlando Garcia, Brewers. Trying to get it better. Um, I never asked you about your college. So what happened? Did you get hurt or you just yeah. maxed out? Or? No, oh, okay. I, uh, I had a really nasty shoulder injury that put me out for almost 18 months. And uh, it just just never was quite the same after that. So, yeah. I had a, I had an injury that was very common to football players. I tore my pectoralis major mid-pitch. Oh, wow. Austin Hayes. That's a good one. Um, sleeve. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty ugly. Yeah. So, if you've ever seen the videos of like when guys like some of those left-handed pitchers like they break their arm mid-pitch. Oh yeah, what it, it was, happened to it, like uh, some guy did it twice recently. Yeah, like Belcher, I think his name was right. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, who it's, was it's, that? It's, Ozzy it's Albies weird. red to twenty-five. Who was that? Grant Coke. Tim, who was that pitcher? His elbow broke like two times. Yeah. Dave Dravecki? No, that was a long time ago. So this Brian happened Benson, like... Okay. okay, cool. No, no, no worries, brother. <laughs> hey, when, when it cramps again, we'll get you in one of these box breaks and you can Weimer. open some packs on camera. Matt Carpenter, TCU alum, going over to St. Louis. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, this was like two, three, four years ago. The guy I'm thinking of, yeah. Lindor, did 474. Anyway, it was an ugly injury, and I never, I was never the same guy. But yeah. uh, I had the opportunity to play baseball longer than most. I'm thankful for it. Yeah. A lot of guys get the dream taken away at, in high school. Some as early as little league, and right. That's was, where my dreams ended. <laughs> I was just able to. <laughs> I was able to keep chasing. It was fun while it lasted. You a lefty? No, you're righty. righty. Yeah. yeah. I know that player. I can't think of who it was anyway. King Griffey Jr., press proof. What's your favorite card in your collection, or can you tell us? Um, Do you have any old, like, something you got when you were a kid that was amazing? I think probably my had? favorite card in my collection, just because it means the most to me, not because it's the most valuable, is my 75 tops George Brett rookie. Okay. Because growing up as a Royals fan, Yeah. Greg Coke, red. Um, I always wanted one, and it was super expensive when I was a kid. So when I got it for my birthday, it was one of those things that yeah, I be awesome. I remember my dad giving it to me, and it was just one of those things I'll never get rid of, <laughs> ever, right? Um, so that's pretty cool. I think the, I think the favorite card I have in my collection is um, in 2008, Topps put out a product called Top Sterling. Oh, yeah. And uh, I have a very nice uh, Mickey Mantle um game used card that's a one one out of that collection that has never seen the light of day. Adrian wow. Beltre or the Rangers. And I think it's just because of the, the fact that it's mantle and stuff. So Oh yeah, Rasmus, I ask him this every day. They're asking about select baseball. They all want select baseball to come back. Uh, I've asked him. It's on the short list. It's on the short list. We we debate it all the time. Um we uh put Fraser to one ninety nine, Fraser Rookies. The way that our contract's structured with the uh, MLB Players Association, we have a limitation on how many products we can do per year. Um, so selects always on the list of consideration. So you never know when it may came, come back. But I think we can look for its potential inclusion of cards 
in uh, this year's Chronicles Baseball. Mm. Press proof, Johan Makata. Nick Springle. Yeah, we love Select. Yeah. You know, I, I just love Select as a brand. Yeah, it's awesome. Stephen got... Gendry. John Lester. Now, will you guys do any Stars and Stripes on your website? I haven't because, I mean, unless it's changed, it's all college and I don't know how yeah. to sort it. Like right. Teams and stuff. That's the yeah, problem with some of the minors or the yeah. USA stuff. Got Marcelo Zuna going to the Cardinals. We did a lot of Triple E though. Yeah, I, I love the new format, don't you? Yeah. yeah I, I helped kind of push that format. I yeah. think it's been really successful for it. Yeah. No, we already talked about the Chronicles. Steel Walker. They're aware of the Chronicles base. Yeah, so Chronicles base is basically going away and it's going to be look more like base cards and not like the, the, uh, the story that we tried to tell you this year. I don't know how we came up with that design, but... It obviously went over like a lead balloon. Um, Jake Thompson. But I think the uh, I think the biggest change that you'll see with Chronicles Baseball is that each box this year will guarantee um, a certain mix of um, Chronicles rookies, whether it's cards from Spectra or cards from Select or cards from Gold Standard or um, Absolute Memorabilia. So you'll be guaranteed to receive um, X number of those in a box. Um, and then there'll be fewer packs, uh, fewer base cards, and actually more hits. Um, so it'll, it'll, be, it'll feel like how Elite Extra Edition breaks in a lot of ways, but just with a little bit more substance. So it'll be, it'll be, a, it'll be a little bit of a mix. So I think, uh, yeah, I think it'll, be awesome. I think it'll be very successful. I love everything you just said. So, uh, it'll be a little bit of an easier break for breakers because they won't have to go through so many dead packs. Um, and then the boxes will have a little bit stronger guarantees in them. So you guys won't necessarily get a box like you could last year where you get just all Prism Chronicles cards or, you know, Indonis and stuff. So um, I really like what they've done with it. Yeah, they, I mean, I don't tell you guys all the stuff that, you know, I talked to Kevin about, but they listen to you guys and to us and they try to improve stuff. You've seen Triple E change in 2016, the, the draft, contenders draft, um, Basketball and yep. baseball that changed to a better format. Like they, are, you guys are improving. Rizzo to twenty five. They try to improve stuff all the time. They really do. I Absolutely. notice it. Yep. Well, it's it's much more difficult to create a new brand than it is to, to work on pro improving an existing brand because brand development's really tough. I mean, it's not it's not as easy as just saying, well, let's just create something new because there has to be a reason why it exists. Yeah. Awesome. Trey Turner. No, we haven't found Otani yet. Kev will probably get one, though. <laughs> We've had two pulls so far this weekend, yeah. but none over here on this side of the ledger. Yet. Alex Dickerson. What else you guys got? What are the questions? You <laughs> can't miss. Madrid. Isn't he good in Madrigal? Yeah, I think so. I think he's supposed to be good. And Nick? Yeah. Oh, your favorite Panini product? To, to open? Uh, just that you've ever felt. When you started Panini, what were you doing? Were you doing sales? I was yeah. on the mass retail side. Mass Max retail. Freed? Atlanta? Sleeve? Oh. Thanks, Sammy. Yeah. Who is this, fellas? <laughs> this is Kevin. He's in charge of all this. He invites us. <laughs> Probably my favorite product to open, Spectra. Oh, uh, yeah, I love Spectra. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? What is this? Oh. Two of four. Wow. George Springer. Is that a buyback? It looks like it, huh? That's a buyback. Yep, that's a buyback. Recollection collection. Man. Buyback auto. Correa and Springer. Don't know those Astros. Man, that's gorgeous. You pull all the good stuff, Kevin. Hey, should have me over more often. Yeah. Let's just buyback come out to Springer. I'll just come out to Sacramento sometime and do a. You have. A, I did. You did one time. I did. I think we did prime cuts. We did. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, and then hey, the Astros, the, just, the Astros keep on hitting. Jose Altuve. Hey, I, like, I really like Spectrum, um, just on both basketball and, and football side of things, because it's just yeah. 
It's fun break. A lot of a lot of sparkle and shiny. Yeah. Mike Conforto. 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 Ton tide all of a sudden. Yeah. After a lot of downers and a lot of breaks, I have <laughs> I know, do it, yeah. they make fun of me. About nine o'clock, I start saying <laughs> stuff like that. And I'll like, oh, Sam's done. Verlander, <laughs> he's losing it. He's losing it. Man, it's nice the two. We just go through this. Oh, that's kind of fun, right? Yeah, I like it. What are you asking about? Prison basketball and retail? Oh, they're all. Every, a lot of the retail stuff this year in basketball, they're all trying to find, and it's just like gone yeah. instantly. It's the sell through on that's been just unbelievably high. I mean, we saw pictures on social media where people just have a loaded target cart, like as high yeah. as it'll go, and they've just cleared off every box on the shelf. So, Otani. Any other uh, baseball things this year you can tell us about, or all secret? All, uh, I don't think it's all secret. Great. I think what you guys will see is the calendar adjust a little bit in terms of um, when some products coming out. Um, mm -hmm. I think because NT was a lot earlier this year. Yeah, and I think it will try to. We're still going to push it, try to make it even a little earlier. Oh, really? I think you know when it kind of sits in a fourth quarter window it becomes more challenged mm -hmm. just the fact that there's so much other product out yeah, that's whether true. it's competitor product or football or basketball stuff that kind of takes some focus away in the marketplace so you know we're looking at some of the timing of some of our releases a little bit um immaculate baseball uh we we're in the process of acquiring more stuff than we've ever had before just like we did last year um, we're going back to more of the acetate fronts on cards oh, cool. um, because we know that condition sensitivity um, for some of the immaculate stuff has been a little bit of a, a challenge the past couple of years. Um, we want to make that stuff really gradable. Nick Williams at a 99. So I think you'll see more acetate. Um, and I know the collectors really like the acetates. Yeah, so I love that stuff. Um, obviously, Otani is a big push for us this year. He's at this event today. As you guys saw, he walked through the building. Um, so we'll have a lot of MIM and other unique things available for him, Hi Harper. Um, so I think that'll help separate us. And then obviously Diamond Kings uh, will be Otani's first autograph patch card in the marketplace. Uh, so be very excited for that. Uh, you think I don't care, Ben? <laughs> he says, keep nodding the head like you care, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the... Baseball I, cards that I sell. <laughs> I care about My this. Living, Four of eight Cole Hamels, the Texas Rangers. What a weird comment. <laughs> that is weird. I care a lot. Yes, I'm just pretending that I care about <laughs> National Treasures and Immaculate. Like <laughs> stuff that I want to sell all year long. <laughs> and open billions and billions of boxes. I don't care about that. Michael Fulmer. <laughs> Frank Thomas. <laughs> You guys, sometimes, I swear, I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> like my kids. <laughs> Don't embarrass me. Yeah. <laughs> Lindor, or the Indians? Where do you get the player use products from NT, like old timers, retired players? Yeah, people don't know how hard it is to acquire oh, that man. stuff. Very difficult. So uh, we buy, you know, we buy jerseys um, with good providence through auction, through credible auction houses. Um, we also go through um, the players directly themselves if they have providence on things and they have jerseys and things like that that's in their uh, in their own personal collections. Um, and then we obviously do photo shoots like we're at today where guys will try stuff on and you know we mark it as event or player worn um, you know because you know we've seen them put it on appropriately Vada on the Reds. Um, so it's, it comes through a variety of sources, but you know. But there's the legend stuff that was just really hard. It's really the tough. Price has gone it's, up a lot. It's crazy. Like if you have if you have game used material of Hall of Famers, that stuff's appreciated more than the stock market here recently. It's just it's incredibly hard, and that's that's one of the reasons why products like NT and um, Immaculate, some stuff like it's just it gets harder to pull, you know, big pieces of. Uh, guys like Clemente because the stuff's just not out there yeah. so it's dried up and then the stuff that does become available it's become so expensive to purchase um, and then ultimately cut it up and put it in a product it really throws some of your costing off so you have to be very selective of what you use and you also know that once you put that 
laundry tag or um, you know the stitching of uh, that may be on the inside of the pants that designate the player into a product, you'll never have that piece again. So you have to be yeah. really selective about when you do it. Man, we did that case quick. We did. I know that's what I'm saying. With two people, it just it's fun. It goes by real quick. Okay, real fast. Let me show the hit recap this way. Okay. All right, so we had Nick Williams to 99. Oh, Diago Vieira. I've never seen him. That Springer That's buyback. Ridiculous. That part was awesome. Max Fried, Ozzy Albies to 25. Austin Hayes to 99. This was a really good half case. Chance Sisko, Walker Bueller, Correa to 99. Dang. J.P. Crawford, Eric Fetty, and that oh, the Ozzy Smith I pulled before you got here, and now it's damaged. Wow. I'll throw it in the way because I ruined it. No, it's fine. <laughs> so I know a guy can replace it's it. It's a right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that Springer is like, that might be the best card we've gotten out of Donner so far here. Just because the Otani is definitely the best. Have you guys played the autograph versions of those uh, jersey cards yet? Yeah, a couple yeah. of them. They're cool. Some of the lower number ones got nice patches. Oh, okay. I haven't hit that yet. And here's, as usual, a gigantic pile. Gigantic pile. Yeah, Astros are amazing. <laughs> number parallels. Thanks, Kev. Yeah, anytime. Thanks for Can I come out. back and do another one? You should. I'm I just will. gonna stop the, you know, wrap it up. 